What's going on guys, Goldie coming at you with another Stuff and Things review and today we are looking at Ebony Maul from the Black Order or the Avengers Endgame Wave with the build a figure of Armored Thanos. My figures were of course supplied to me by Mr. Wayne's Pop Culture Collectibles in Westmont, Illinois. My number one stop for all of my collectible needs. Um, currently could still be in stock. I would go ahead and give those guys a call before you go out there. We are about a week after Endgame and a week after me having these figures. I wanted to take the time to really absorb Endgame and absorb the figures. So here we are. Here's going to be my review of Ebony Maul. And Ebony is by far probably the best movie figure of this wave, in my opinion. He was a fantastic on-screen character. He's a very important member of the Black Order. And uh, Hasbro did a wonderful job with this guy. I'm going to bring him in a little bit so you could get a really good look at the detail work that they did on this figure, which is pretty phenomenal. I wish they would have done a little bit better with the white hair. Um, as you can see in back, there's there's not a lot, go a lot going on back there with the white hair, as you can see, which is kind of a disappointment. But I've seen some guys painting it white and touching it up and making it better. But that's the thing. I mean... We shouldn't have to, but anyway, let's uh let's get a real good look at Ebony here, man. He is he is awesome, like such a great figure. I mean, children of Thanos, hear me and rejoice. Let's uh let's go ahead and break down Mr. Ma's articulation, which they did a pretty good job on it. This here is not a separate piece, but it is it is a rubber piece that is fused to the actual body here so it uh it doesn't really hinder too much articulation because you don't really need a whole lot of articulation with ebony but uh all in all he is he is sweet so let's let's break it down here we do of course have the uh ankle rockers and the ankle pivot so that's pretty cool we do have a double jointed knee that has a really great range of motion for ebony i mean really great as you can see, it bends really nice. We do have the cut here. We do have the opening here and here, and it does go up and down. Um, the articulation isn't hindered that horribly by the drape, which is, is good, but it does, it does can get in the way. We have no, uh, waist cut, but we do have the torso or the, abdomen type crunch cut which gives him his spinning here you can go all the way around whoa i need a young priest and an old priest it does have a good range of motion to go forward it does have a great range of motion to go back the arms are very long and cool as you can see great detail work on ebony's rings excellent detail work on the actual figure itself you can see like the pattern in the uh in the clothing great detail work here uh, arm, sorry, articulation, it does go up here, it goes down, it goes here, it goes here, it does have the bicep cut, and we do have a double jointed elbow, which can give us real, I mean, look at that, I mean, all the way in, all the way in, people, and let's, let's get a really good look at the Squidward's face here, if we can focus there, yeah, Squidward. Squidward. So as you can see, Ebony, Ebony is awesome. And if you want to build your Black Order, you're going to need Ebony because we already had Proxima released and Call Obsidian was a build a figure. Um, Corvus Glaive came in a Walmart two pack. And, uh, if, like I said, if you want, you want your Black Order, you need Ebony. And he is pretty sweet. I'm going to give Ebony two massive thumbs up. I love the character in the film. I love the character in the comics. Um, I just, I love the character. I love the Black Order. It's good stuff. Good, good stuff. Endgame was, whew, that's all I got to say about Endgame, man. Whew, an emotional ride, let me tell you guys. But uh, Ebony is two major, massive stuff and things. Thumbs ups, guys. So uh, I will be bringing you the rest of the wave this week. Um, I'm going to knock the movie ones out first. We're going to move into the comic book ones. I know you guys are waiting for my review of Hercules, which, uh, man, I'm not going to tell you anything about it till later. Guys. For all my wacky stuff and things misadventures, be sure to check me out on Facebook and Instagram. And be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Stuff and Things! This is Stuff and Things. This is Stuff and Things.